Hello, and welcome to our flip video lesson, Ramses II, Conqueror and Builder, lesson 4.08. Our lesson 4.08 details are human odyssey reading pages 120 to 127. Some pages will overlap with the ones you read for lesson 4.07. Our student guide workbook pages 110 and then 111 through 114. Our OMS assignment, assessment 4.08, and then about the topic, Ramses II and the decline of the New Kingdom. What are we learning about today? Our unit four lesson objectives. So we're going to identify Ramses II, recognize the geographic extent of the Egyptian empire under Ramses II, and then describe the decline of the New Kingdom and the ways in which foreign conquerors adopted Egyptian culture. Lesson Introduction, Ramses II, Conqueror and Builder. Ramses II might have been considered a giant of his time. He was a dynamic ruler who enlarged the empire, signed a treaty with his Hittite neighbors to keep a permanent peace, and built more temples and tombs than any pharaoh before him. But Ramses II was something of a giant in another way. He stood five foot nine inches tall, about four inches taller than the average Egyptian man. Ramsey reigns. Ramses II loved to do everything on a grand scale. He was a warrior and a statesman and a builder. With his highly trained army of charioteers, archers, and foot soldiers, he put down revolts and fended off invaders who threatened Egypt's vast realm. Then he launched a building spree, the likes of which Egypt had never experienced before. The great power of the pharaoh Ramses II is displayed in the buildings he ordered to be made. Even today, people standing in the shadow of his temple can sense his rule over ancient Egypt. It's hard to get a sense of how massive some of Ramses II's works were. The temple of Abu Simbel is right here on the right. You can see that on this page and the statues of the uh, king tower grandly over the visitors. Now you can turn to your student guide. You're going to turn to page 110. Again, there's not much space for writing. I do apologize for that. So you may want to grab a piece of paper or you can write it there on the side if need be. Question number one, who was Ramses II? Ramses II was ruler and pharaoh of Egypt from 1290 to 1224 BC. He was also a statesman, a mighty warrior, uh, and a builder. Question number two, after the Battle of Kadesh, where did Egypt, Egyptian control extend? Egyptians gained control of Southern Syria. Question number three, when and how did Egypt's new kingdom end? The kingdom ended around 1070 BC. It was weakened by internal struggles and became prey to its neighbors. It suffered invasion and rule by a series of foreign dynasties. Question number four. What were some of the Egyptian customs that the foreign conquerors adopted? The foreign rulers happily took the title of Pharaoh and adopted the Egyptian religion. So now we're actually going to watch a quick video within our flip video. The rescue of the Abu Simbel temples. The temples of Abu Simbel are among the most magnificent monuments of ancient Egypt. They have stood the test of time and can still be admired in all their splendor thanks to an ingenious rescue operation conducted some 50 years ago. With the construction of Egypt's famous Aswan Dam, the temples had risked being submerged by the waters of the dam's future reservoir. So, in 1960, UNESCO raised the alarm and eventually enlisted the help of an international consortium of builders. We Build was one of them. The rescue operation would prove to be audacious. It involved dismantling the temples piece by piece and reassembling them on higher ground where they would be safe from the waters of the future reservoir. It was a massive undertaking involving some 2,000 people and more than 40 million working hours. It began with the construction of a coffer dam to protect the temple areas from the rising waters of the Nile. 
Workers then carefully cut the temples into 1,030 blocks that made them easier to move to higher ground. Mindful not to damage any of the sections, they did a lot of the work by hand. Moving the temples section by section to a purpose-built hill, the workers rebuilt them with an artificial structure of concrete arches and protective domes. Astronomical calculations were made to keep the original orientation of the temples and to allow the sun to illuminate the gods inside the greater temple, just like it had done for the last 3,000 years. It would remain a spectacle to behold by future generations. After watching the video, hopefully you have some more information about the temple and you can take a look at these pictures on the next three slides to be able to fill in your chart on page 113 in your student guide. So the temple at Abu Simbel reflects what Ramses II considered important and wanted people to remember. So if you think about the images that you saw in the video and then study the images in the, uh, the gallery in your OMS and looking at these pictures here, what do you think Ramses was trying to say? And there are three sets of pictures here. This is the picture that would shine in twice a year to show light on three of the statues, but the ruler of the dead would remain dark. And if you turn to page 113, you'll see your chart there. You can go ahead and fill this in. You're more than welcome to put your own wording. This is my wording, K-12's wording. But if you would like to put in your own wording, you are more than welcome to do that. So the observation over here, what do you see in the image? Okay, Ramses fighting the Battle of Kadesh. And then what do you think Ramses II was saying? Um, the the, the uh, idea is that the battle was an important event. Ramses wanted people to know he was a mighty warrior. And then again, you can go on and you can read this on your own. You can pause this video. You can fill in your chart. So these are the observations, some things that are seen. And then these would be reasons why perhaps Ramsey would have done that with his statue and what he was trying to portray or what he was trying to tell of his story or of his kingdom. And here we come to our reading pages. Some pages will overlap with the ones read for lesson 4.07. So read pages 120 to 127. And then important vocabulary words to understand. Peacemaker is a person who brings about peace, especially by connecting those on opposing sides. Foreigners are a person born in or coming from a country other than one's own. Adopted means to choose to take up, follow, or use. And then extended is to spread from a central point to cover a wider area. Here we come to our quote section. Nobody roots for Goliath. And that was said by Wilt Chamberlain, who was a famous basketball player. And then we come to the end of our flip video lesson. Thanks so much for joining me today. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Thanks so much for joining me.